What's up, guys? It's been a while. I know I haven't posted much lately. It's been about six weeks. I was in Europe for a month, and then I went to the East Coast for a week, so that's why there hasn't been any new content on any of the cars lately. The Beetle, I shot some video before I left, but I didn't use any of it because it was kind of unusable. So let me give you a quick update of what's going on. Uh, this girl, I'm going to try to drive this one a little bit more this winter because she gets a lot better gas mileage than this big booty Judy here. Um, I want to get a roof rack on this one and uh, use this to go snowboarding and stuff like that. So that's one project you'll probably see coming up in the next few weeks or so. Uh, this girl, she's... Um, I took her out for a 10,000 mile road trip across the freaking country this, su this summer. We went from California to Florida to Niagara Falls over to uh, Michigan. Then we went over to Minnesota, then back to Wisconsin. Then I went all the way over to Medford, Oregon, where I got new tires. Finally, finally a full size spare on this thing. It hasn't had a full size spare in a couple of years. So it's kind of nice. The cool thing about buying stuff in Oregon is that there's no tax. So I basically got this tire for like almost free. So yeah, that's, this girl needs a lot of work. She, I changed the oil when I got back. <laughs> I was pushing like 18,000 miles on one oil change. That was stupid. Don't do that. But I probably need to do the diffs and all the things. I think the coilovers are shot. So maybe we'll do long travel on this truck sometime soon, hopefully sooner than later. Uh, the Beetle is the newest project over here. This girl has a lot of issues. My sister let this thing sit for basically nine months where it did nothing, the battery was dead. Um, I'm just compiling this humongous list of things that it needs. Like today I just realized that this tail light is out and I think that's probably why it hyper blinks when I use the, what do you call it, the blinker. A couple other things that it needs, it needs an oil change. It basically needs all of the fluids changed out. The battery seems to be holding a charge. That was an issue that we had before. My biggest concern though is that the car doesn't pass smog and I think, uh, well, rookie mistake, I was messing around with a computer and the check engine light went off a long time ago so I cleared the codes but then I didn't realize that when you do that, you basically reset all the diagnostics and now the car needs to finish X number of drive cycles in order for the catalyst to be ready so that uh, if you saw a previous video I talked about how I can't even smog it because the catalyst test hasn't been fit completed so I've been driving it around just trying to get the cycles to finish up so I can actually take it in and get smogged. A couple other things that need to happen here. You see that stereo in there? It has a freaking cassette deck. <laughs> I mean, who still has a cassette deck? That's super strange. And there's a six inch changer down in here that's gonna go away. I ordered some stuff from Crutchfield, which is super cool. Got a Pioneer head unit. This one's one of those ones we can change the background color so that you can make it all match the green of the interior of the car. And uh, one thing I, I found too that was really cool, I was uh, looking at some video on how to change the radio. And what's cool with the Crushfield kit is they actually give you these Euro removal keys that help you remove the stock stereo. You see those little slots there on the underneath the knobs? That's required in order to be able to get the stereo out. So I'm gonna post a video of that pretty soon we'll get this thing going and i also want to get the windows tinted because right now it's just looks like a, a fishbowl i prefer the super jet black look so that one has that this car too it's just kind of nice to have a little bit of privacy inside the car and also it's just kind of shock value like this car is such such a bright car and it's weird uh, that's <laughs> yeah i don't I mean, if you look at my other cars, this is kind of a departure from my normal style, but I like it. The car is fun. It's got turbo sounds. I'm hoping soon. Well, as soon as I get this thing smogged, we're going to go all out. We're going to downpipe, get an exhaust set up in here, and then get the chip set up. And then I want to do a turbo upgrade. So this car is meant to be sleeper fun type stuff. I'm also going to do a quick release uh, steering wheel, just like we have on the Xterra, because why? because fun. Yeah, so that's what's going on with the three project vehicles. I also have a motorcycle in the back of the garage there that needs a little bit of love. I haven't done much there. So just wanted to give you guys a quick update because it's been a few weeks and I haven't really posted anything. But just so you know, there's stuff that's coming down the pipe. Hope to have more content for you guys soon. Thanks for following. If you guys uh, could like the videos, that would help me a lot because I really, really want to be able to help people, especially for the Xterra. I know the Xterra is one of those rare vehicles that no one really 
works on or does videos on. So if you know someone who has an Xterra, send them to my channel, have, a, have them subscribe, like, all that stuff. We'll do some stuff with the Beetle because the Beetle's fun and the Subaru is just a daily, nothing really special there, but we'll do some uh, little mods to it because I think I've decided that I want to keep it and just have a normal car that runs and I don't really fiddle with too much. It does have a nameless, there it is. It's got a nameless muffler delete. So it sounds fast, but it's super slow. It's just, it's just annoying, but it sounds cool. Anywho, that's pretty much it for now. Just wanted to give you guys a quick update. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.